dear students in this video we are going to solve the problem from z transform the problem is find z of 1 over n plus 1 factorial so solution here find z of this term z of means the problem is coming from z transform or z transform so we are going to write the definition of z transform so the definition of z transform that is z of x of n equal to summation n equal to 0 to infinity x of n in times c to the power of minus n. This is the definition. Now we are going to find the value of 1 over n plus 1 factorial. So just you apply this place 1 over n plus 1 factorial. So the same term repeated inside the summation also. Here also 1 over n plus 1 factorial into c to the power of minus n. So just we apply the term in the formula. Now we get z of 1 over n plus 1 factorial equal to summation n equal to 0 to infinity 1 by n plus 1 factorial times c to the power of minus n equal to summation n equal to 0 to infinity 1 by n plus 1 factorial times here this term coming down so here numerator it is that c to the power of minus n c to the power of minus n equal to 1 over c to the power of plus n because you are moving the term to the denominator, the negative turn into positive. So, here I am moving down. So, that can be written as 1 over c to the power of plus n. Here minus n is there, the turn into c to the power of plus n. Equal to, first you put the value of 0 in n value here, both places you put 0. So, 1 by 0 plus 1 factorial into 1 over c to the power of 0. Next term you put plus 1, you put z value equal to 1. So, 1 by 1 plus 1 factorial into z to the power of 1 into z to the power of 1. Next you put the value of 2. So, 1 by 2 plus 1 factorial into 1 over z to the power of 2. One by two plus one factorial into one over c to the power of two plus next you put the value of three you get here you put the value of three now you get one over three plus one factorial one by c to the power of three plus etc up to infinity now you are adding the bracket terms. Here 0 plus 1 you get 1. Here 1 plus 1 2. 2 plus 1 3. 3 plus 1 4. So in the next step we are just adding and applying. If you are adding first term you get 1 by 1 factorial into c to the power of 1 over c to the power of 0 I think. Yeah 0. The next term is here you are adding you get 1 plus 1 2 factorial. So 1 over 2 factorial into 1 over c to the power of 1. Next you are adding you get here 3 factorial c square. So next time um, 1 by 3 factorial 1 by c square. Next term is here. This is 3 plus 1, 4 factorial z cube. So, 1 by 4 factorial, 1 by c cube. Plus etc, plus etc, plus up to infinity. 
equal to now c to the power of 0 c to the power of 0 the value equal to what do you get 1 any number for 0 1 so let us take here z to the power of 0 c to the power of 0 equal to 1 because x power 0 equal to 1 2 to the power 0 equal to 1 a to the power 0 equal to 1 any number power 0 equal to 1 so here i take z to the power of 0 equal to 1 so now we apply z to the power equal to 1 now in the next step we get this is equal to 1 by 1 factorial into 1 by c to the power of 0 1 next is 1 by 2 factorial this is the first step in the second step here 1 by 2 factorial here 1 over z so 1 by 2 factorial times 1 over c in the third bracket is 1 by 3 factorial c square so 1 by 3 factorial into 1 over c square in the fourth bracket is 1 by 4 factorial c to the power of 3. So, 1 over 4 factorial into 1 over c to the power of 3 plus etc up to infinity. Now, we are trying to arrange the formula format. Here, 1 by 1 factorial, 1 by 2 factorial, 1 by 3 factorial, 1 by 4 factorial. So, 1 by 1 by 1 by 1 factorial, 2 factorial, 3 factorial, 4 factorial is there. But, here we do not have the term of here x. Because we know the formula, we are comparing with the formula. We know the formula, factorial formula. What is the factorial formula? e to the power of x is equal to 1 plus x by 1 factorial plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial plus x to the power 4 by 4 factorial plus etc plus up to infinity. This is the formula for exponential in finomial theorem. Factorial, sorry, x not exponential. e power x is equal to in factorial form. The exponential will be converted into factorial form. So, this is the formula you have to by heart or memory that. So, now we are comparing x by 1 factorial. This is of the form x. You want 1 x by 1 factorial. So, you need 1 x only in the top. Here x is square, but you have you keep this is 1 over z that is considered x only. So x is square means you want 1 by z, another 1 by z you want. So 1 by z the whole square. Next is x cube by 3 factorial. You comparing third step, 3 factorial is there, but here the not x cube, x is square only. So in all the terms we want 1, 1 by c. So multiple 1 by c, 1 by c we want. If we have 1 by c, here 1 by c. Here 1, 1 by c, here already 1, 1 by c, so 1 by c square. Here 1, 1 by c square, you got multiple, so 1 by c the whole cube. So, if you multiply all the terms with 1 by c. So, how do you multiply with 1 by z? You can't add them directly. Suppose you want 1 by c, don't add them directly. So, you multiple and divide, see, multiple and divide here. Multiple z and divide c. Now, you get c, z cancel, you get the value equal to 1. So, 1 is equal to z times 1 by z. So, on z and c cancel, again you get the value of 1. So, in the previous step, just I am going to add 1, 1 by c. Multiple and divide and not in add. Multiple and divide 1 by c. So, in front of all the terms, in front of, these are all the terms, the outside I am going to multiple and divide by 1 by c. So, multiple z and divide z. Now, this will change into... So, now what I am doing, multiple 1z and divide 1z. I am multiple and divide 1z. Remaining term just I copied from here. The same stuff I am going to copy. So, 1 over z by times 1. The first term is 1 by 1 factorial. 1 by 1 factorial times 1. The second term is 1 by 2 factorial times 1 over z. The third term is 
1 by 3 factorial times 1 over z square. The fourth term is 1 by 4 factorial times 1 by z cube. Plus etc up to infinity. Here what I did actually multiple and divide z. Multiple here I multiple and divide z the term z. Now we get here I multiple here I divide. Now it value does, doesn't change you have the 1. Again you get the same term that is equal to 1. Now what happened you are moving to multiple this time in all the steps. This 1 by z is going inside. So the, you multiple 1 by z with the first term, 1 by z with the second term, 1 by z with the third term, 1 by z with fourth term. So all the terms 1 by z now what happened you have here 1 by z here 1 by z square or 1 by z cube 1 by z to the power of. 4. So, moving 1 by c or multiple 1 by c with all the terms inside the next step is multiple with 1 by z in all the terms inside. Now, we have The z only now outside. This 1 by c is going to multiple with all the terms. So, now 1 by c times first term you get 1 by c. Already z is outside. So, now I am going to multiple the first term 1 by 1 factorial already. Now, multiple with 1 over z. The second term is. Here you multiple 1 by z, you get 1 by z square. This step can be written as 1 by z square. So, 1 by one by 2 factorial into 1 by z square. Again, the third step we are multiple. Now, we get 1 by 3 factorial into 1 by z cube. 1 by 3 factorial into 1 over z cube. The fourth step you multiple 1 by 4 factorial into 1, 1 to the c to the power of 4. So, 1 by 4 factorial into 1 by c the whole to the power of 4 plus etc up to infinity. Now, again we are going to modify this term z times here z is there I just copied. Now, 1 factorial Move the term up, to write it in the numerator. Just write it on the numerator. That is can be written as 1 over z. The second term can be written as here 2 factorial already it is there. Now we just moving this term up. This can be written as 1 over z the whole square. Third term next can be written as already here 1 over 3 factorial is there. So 1 over 3 factorial this can be moved up. So, this can be written as 1 over z the whole cube. In the fourth term, this can be written as here 1 by 4, 4 factorial. So, 1 over 4 factorial. Next is, is this term can be written as this term 1 by 4, 1 by z to the power 4. So, 1 over z the whole to the power of 4 plus etc up to infinity. The term is moving up to infinity. This is equal to now we have the formula form. Compare with the formula. This is considered x. x square. x cube. x power 4. So, you get x by 1 factorial plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial plus x to the power 5, 4 factorial. Almost we derive near, near to the formula. But in our next page, the formula is. What is our formula? Hmm. The previous page, you check the formula. Your formula is you want 1 plus. The starting is equal to 1. So, 1 plus x by 1 factorial, x square by 2 factorial, x cube by 3 factorial, x to the power 4 by 4 factorial. So, you want plus 1 on front side. So, now we check it. We don't have. We just starting from 1 over. See, we don't have plus 1. So, now what I am going to do that? Yeah, I am going to add and subtract 1. Because we are converting the term into formula. So, add and subtract 1. 
inside the bracket add and subtract number 1 inside the bracket now we get this inside the bracket i am going to adding 1 i am going to plus 1 here one here here last at the ending minus 1 here adding here subtracting here add the ending is subtract now the value doesn't change if you add plus and minus 1 what happened you check it in the rough work plus 1 minus 1 you are adding and subtracting you get that is equal to 0 the value doesn't change so in front i am adding the last i am subtracting inside the bracket so the, you copy the same step but for fin first in the starting you add the one term in the ending you subtract the one term so this one and one cancel you get what you get zero the value doesn't change you remaining copy the remaining same terms inside so remaining what happened the remaining terms are one by c by one factorial plus one by c the whole square by two factorial plus 1 over c the whole cube by 3 factorial plus 1 by c the whole to the power 4 4 factorial plus etc up to plus infinity here add what we did here we add 1 here subtract 1 so we add and subtract 2 times plus adding here subtracting the value doesn't change now this is of the formula form now you check that this is of the form of here this is 1 plus x by 1 factorial this is x square by 2 factorial this is x cube by 3 factorial this is x to the power 4 by 4 factorial now we convert them into the formula format exponential formula so if you know the formula see that in the previous page 1 plus x plus x square by 1 plus x by 1 factorial x square by 2 factorial x cube by 3 factorial x to the power of 4 by 4 factorial etc etc the infinity equal to what's your answer e to the power of x so now we obtain the formula that is equal to your the whole term up to this term only now in this is not included separate term so 1 plus 1 plus x by 1 factorial x square by 2 factorial x cube by 3 factorial x to the power 4 factorial etc up to infinity that is equal to e to the power of x here what's your x value x value equal to 1 over z so now we obtain the formula the term is equal to 1 over x here our x value that is equal to 1 over z so e to the power of 1 over z minus 1 here this is not included in the formula so this for minus 1 right on the last this is right on the last the remaining whole steps converted into the formula e to the power of x here x equal to 1 over z and outside also one z is there you just copy that z outside just copied so here z this is your term now you multiply this z inside you get if you multiply you get z e to the power of 1 over z minus z you multiply this term with the first term you get the term Next, you multiply the z with the second term. Second term is just 1. So, you get z only. So, this is the final answer. So, after long steps, we obtained z of 1 by n plus 1 factorial equal to c e to the power of 1 over z minus c. That's our final answer. So, in this problem, this is the problem from z transform. So, if you want to solve this problem, you require two formulas. The first formula that is equal to the formula for z transform this is the main formula you have to buy heart or memory or second formula equal to e to the power of x equal to 1 plus x by 1 factorial x square by 2 factorial plus x to infinity these two formulas must record thank you